Hey, Star Baba Tune here with your star point for today. Star points are short motivational messages designed to uplift and empower. And they're called star points because my name is Star and I'm about to make a point. My star point today is don't block the blessing part two. So how is it that you accept compliments? What do you do? What do you say when someone gives you a compliment? Do you accept it graciously or do you block it? Do you uh, deflect it? Do you uh, dismiss it? Oh, this old thing, or it wasn't really me. How do you accept compliments? What I've learned is that when a person gives you a compliment, it's not just a blessing for you. It's also a blessing for the giver. Yes, and when you block that uh, compliment, when you don't receive it, you are blocking their blessing as well as your own. And I, I learned this very valuable thing um, some years back. I, I was at a conference, it's a big personal development con con conference. And you got to know, when I bought the tickets to this conference, I was in a great place, right? Life was good and I was looking forward to, you know, in, improving on myself. It was great. Six months later, when it was time for that conference, I was in a completely different space. I was broke. I was depressed. I was unhappy, lost, confused. I was just, I was in a really bad place, but I had to go to the conference. I had to go because I paid for it and I could not afford to waste it. So I went and I got to tell you, I was irritated. I was bitter. I was nasty. It I was just not there. You know what I realized? That I was going to waste the money anyway. If I didn't change my attitude, I was still going to waste the money. So, so I decided I would, I would make the shift in my attitude by saying thank you. But by saying thank you with like full on pleasure and happiness. Here's the deal. When I go to a conference and they have name tags, my name tag is on. My name is Star. People generally have something to say about my name. Oh, beautiful name. What a nice name. What an interesting name. People say that all the time. And I go, thank you. You know, I'm, I'm good. All right. You know, I accept it. But, you know, I, I, it's like it, it rolls off my shoulder because I've heard it a thousand times. So I decided that every time someone said nice name or made any positive comment about them, about me, I would thank them. I would thank them with all the grace and gratitude that I could muster. I would thank them as if it's the first time I've ever heard that compliment and it was just the thing I need to make my day. That's what I decided to do. Now, look, I did this because I thought that would make me feel better. But what I realized is the joy that it brought the giver when I showed that much gratitude, you could see, I could see people's faces just light up like they were delighted that they had given me this compliment and me receiving it. I just realized that me receiving the compliment with grace and with gratitude lit them up. <clears throat> it was a blessing for them. And that's when I thought that when we receive a compliment and we brush it off or we deflect it or we diminish it, we're not just blocking the blessing to ourselves. We are blocking the blessing for the other person. So, so here's my suggestion. Next time someone says something nice to you, so, next time someone gives you a compliment, even if you've heard it a thousand times, even if you think that it is unwarranted, receive that gift, receive that safe thank you with as much gratitude as you can muster and you will be giving them a blessing in return. Look, don't block the blessing. This is Star Baba Tune. I'll talk to you next time.